<laughs> I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Let me just turn that down a little bit for y'all. Let me just turn that off for y'all. <laughs> you know the drill. I just I just have to share a little bit of my music that nobody else uh, shares uh, <laughs> an interest in because that's what I do. So we have some exciting news today. We have some exciting news today. Uh, Berlin, uh, the latest campaign in this little game that we love, as you can see right here, is now an open beta test. And that is... Mm, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to quickly uh, go over these little notes here because we have covered this content quite a bit. So let's continue. Oh my goodness, this... oh. The Battle of Berlin campaign has entered open beta. Uh-huh. <laughs> with new weapons, vehicles, squads, and missions, and with campaign and squad progression now available to all players. That means uh, that there won't be uh, one-sided matches every single game because people will be playing. That is exciting. Oh, my goodness. Also, the second Battle Pass season with unique rewards has begun. Yes, they've added uh, so much to this. I can't wait to take a look at it. And we are going to take a look at it. Additionally, in this update, we have improved some effects and fixed many bugs which have been found by you and us. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. We've also added the ability to change a soldier's call sign. Oh, thank you. I can't wait to rename all of my soldiers to uh, uh, friends and family. That's I don't know about y'all. You know, everybody has a different uh, different idea probably there, but... I'm looking forward to having my family as one of my squads. That's going to be cool, man. That is going to be really cool. We are happy to announce the end of the closed beta test in our third enlisted campaign, the Battle of Berlin. Oh, yeah. We could welcome all new players to fight for the heart of the German capital. We want to give a huge thank you to the participants of the CBT. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> that helped us to prepare the most epic campaign in this game so far and and they are they are right about that and there's a reason why everybody uh was so excited for berlin uh because i mean it's berlin baby it's the late war this is where all the toys live all those advanced weapons that you you can't see in other campaigns because they didn't exist yet correct with the arrival of this update, Battle for Berlin Progress is unlocked for all enlisted players. Reach new levels, upgrade squads and soldiers, and fight. Yes, everybody gets access to it now. Everybody. To prepare for the Berlin OBT open beta test, we have expanded the choice of squads, weapons, and vehicles for an additional 11 levels. That is almost twice as much content as was in the closed beta test. That is... I am I am personally impressed by that, and I know you're probably thinking, oh, you're just you're just fluffing them up a little bit, but you know what? I, I there's a reason I make these videos because I do love this game, I really do. You have access to flamethrowers, <laughs> powerful automatic weapons, and modern fighters in the sky, uh, like the BF-109, G-10, and Yak-9T. I believe the G-14 was announced too, and that's what I'm excited about. The G-14 is what I'm excited about, but we'll continue. Okay, Premium Squad. The Berlin Campaign will keep expanding and you will have even more weapons, squads, and vehicles to unlock for each side of the battle. To make the process faster, you can utilize the new Premium Engineer... <gasps> oh, sorry guys. A premium NG Squads. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited for this. I, Y'all know I love playing Engineer. You know, y'all know that I bring an Engineer literally every squad that I played. This is cool. This will help. Um, my Russians are low level just because I, I, I quit playing the closed beta test. I wanted to wait until it went uh, open beta just because it's going to be a better experience, right? We're going to have everybody playing with us. Okay, this bundle includes a premium squad of the 54th Sapper Battalion. Ooh, in the 5th Rifle Division of the Red Army for the Soviet... F Armed Forces in the Berlin Campaign. Excuse my stuttering. Y'all know my eyes are just a little, little blurry here. The SK... You get an SKS? Oh, ooh, SKS-44. Semi-automatic carbine. Oh, that is cool. SKS is one of my absolute 
favorite favorite rifles uh, in real life, uh, just because it's just a slick weapon, right? It's it's well known. You you can get them pretty cheap still, I think, at least here in the United States. You know, where we're still allowed to buy guns, but. <laughs> <laughs> a premium squad of the 17th Pioneer Battalion in the 17th, oh, I love the number 7 in there, I love it, 17th Infantry Division for the Wehrmacht Forces in the Berlin Campaign. And we're not going to try and pronounce this, I have no idea what the hell it is, but we're taking a look at it. That, that's a semi-automatic rifle, and uh, that's all I pretty much need to know to be excited about that, trust me. And foreign of gold, yes, uh, they, yeah, including gold in these packages. Yep, love it. Love to see it. Second season of the Battle Pass. The new season starts today and will give you many new prizes, unique weapons, soldiers, vehicles, and much more. Ah, hmm, 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 hmm. New Battle Pass. We're just taking a quick little glance at it. We're going to take a look at the actual thing. So we're not going to spend too much time talking about it right here. In the Berlin campaign, you already had access to eight missions and different game modes. And with the launch of OBT, you can now fight in brand new ones as well. Oh, oh, I, yeah, I don't recognize this train. That's exciting. A little train yard. I, li I like train. One of my favorite Counter-Strike maps was, uh, was it DE Train? I, that was a good one. That was a real good one. The most attentive CBD players <clears throat> have noticed this large building <laughs> during the Spree River Bridge Crossing. Now it is time to go inside. Okay, cool. So they... That's, that's like a little Easter egg almost, right? That's like, hey, what's that over there? <laughs> what's that over there? Though the building itself did not survive into our times, you can still see it in the new missions of the Berlin campaign. Oh, interesting. That is interesting. This is the location where the Wehrmacht will go on the counteroffensive in the invasion mode. Oh, interesting. So Germany will attack. That's that's fine. That's fine. We can we can attack too. Uh, you know German players don't like attacking, but y'all know that. <laughs> Anybody who's tried to cap a point attacking uh, for the German teams in any campaign knows that. <clears throat> Moving on. Speaking in the invasion mode, where it'll be the Red Army holding their ground and defending at the strategic location. Cool, cool, cool. To get the scale of the building, just here. The clamping of the tank uh, caterpillars. <laughs> That's cute. The train station was large enough to use armored vehicles inside. Oh, so there will be tanks inside of a building? Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's going to be a relatively, uh, I guess, smaller map because, I mean, it is a building. But it's big enough for tanks to be get inside? Oh, that's cool. Yep, that is cool. Okay. Apart from large platforms with stationary locomotives, those who like... Covert maneuvers will find a lot of administrative buildings to use as cover. Hell yes. Uh, uh, hello, Ninja here, covert operations uh, enthusiast right here. Obviously, I dress like a ninja for a reason. I hide my face because I enjoy covert operations. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, let's just keep her going. The station is also used in the assault mode. See you at the station. Make sure you bring your tickets. <laughs> no ticket, no ride, comrade. <laughs> Uh, just bullet. <laughs> uh, I apologize to any Russian speakers that listen to me uh, butcher your accent there. I know y'all aren't going to burn me at the stake. I know you forgive me. All participants of the Battle for Berlin closed beta test will get a special form badge awards. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Let's let's talk about these changes here. And I'm just going to I'm gonna lower my mask off camera real quick and just take a little drink. Yep, see, that's how you know you're a real gamer is when you drink this shit. Oh, it's not good for you. I know it's not, guys. I know it's not. Now they're cigarettes, but, you know, we all got to go down someday. Huh? Huh? Okay, under missions and campaigns, new level squads, weapons, and vehicles have been added to the Battle of Berlin campaign. Yes, again. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just going over what was already covered. Weaponry, uh, the Rocks 2 flamethrower, DPM, uh, I believe that's the LMG, PPD-4, we all know what the PPD is. <laughs> the AVS-36, if I remember correctly, is, uh, is uh, I think it has a 15-round magazine, it could be kind of full automatic, kind of like an FG. Uh, Sniper SVT-40, uh, pretty straightforward there. And the PPSH-40, <laughs> that's going to be cool, right? That's going to be really cool. 
Okay, Germany, Flammenwerfer 35. Yeah, no flamethrower. I'm, I'm excited to play with those things. I really am. I love flamethrowers. They're just uh, not useful outside of uh, urban combat in most situations, right? They're meant to clear out, like, bunkers and pillboxes, right? Right? Okay. MG42, we all know and love that. Uh, a buzzsaw. They literally called it a buzzsaw. The VG15, I believe, is another LMG, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to not comment on that. FG42, we know and love that little thing. The MG43, uh, with the extended, the double magazine. I, th I believe it holds 75 rounds. That is... <laughs> that's going to be a hip-fire machine. That's just going to be you just walking through the train station through those administrative buildings, you know, where people hide, and you just... <laughs> just light them up. Just light them up. That's going to be fun. That's going to be real fun. The Sniper Gewehr 43, yep, love to see it. And the Beretta M38. I am excited for this little thing just because I love wooden furniture, and I love Italian, so... <laughs> Sue me. Other changes... The starting weapon for the soldiers in the Battle of Berlin campaign has been changed from VG-2 to Car 98 Kriegsmodel. Yes, thank you. Most people did not really care for the VG-2. I like it, uh, but uh, I'm in the minority. Uh, I do like the Kriegsmodel better, uh, or I like it more. I, say, I, I guess that would be the right way to say that. <laughs> VG-2 is now the weapon of the first squad. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> also, due to the ch to the change of the starting level of the Car 98K Kriegs model is now zero, and for the VG2 it starts from one star. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I I am actually excited just for the Kriegs model to be the uh, starter rifle because it is my favorite Car 98K in that campaign. The wooden furniture on it is beautiful, I think, and it it blends well with the scenery that you're fighting in, right? Take a look at the color of all the walls and the the structures around you. They're very simple. They're very light. You know, that light wooden furniture will make it harder for you to spot. And if you use your view key just to like maybe point your rifle down and look up and make yourself a small target hiding in that rubble, you'll have a good time. Trust me. Okay. VG2 weapon model is replaced by an authentic one. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna have to try that out, huh? We're gonna have to try that out, aren't we? Uh, Browning M1918A2 recoil control has been slightly improved. Um, yeah, that's 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 never a bad thing. We never uh, complain about buffs to the BAR. BAR is uh, BAR, baby, love it. Moving on, vehicles, new aircraft. Uh, yeah, the Yak-3. We've talked about this. Very excited. Very maneuverable fighter. Uh, very fast, but obviously the G14 is going to outspeed it in uh, most situations. Uh, just you know, just don't don't turn fight with the Yak-3, and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. The Yak-90, uh, 37 millimeter, if I remember correctly, nose mounted cannon. Uh, that's going to be, <laughs> <laughs> or is it a 40? Yeah, I can't remember. It's a big sump cannon. And then, of course, you have the Air Cobra, the P-63A, uh, Lendley's, uh, that, oh my goodness, I, I'm definitely going to have to get my hands on that. As for Germany, obviously the BF-109 G-14 is a legend, it's a, it's a legend, this thing is fast, is she, is she, fa she fast, and is she go up high, and if you keep your altitude and keep your energy up, there's, there's pretty much, let me turn my little fan on here, because it is hotter than hell, <laughs> in this damn thing. <clears throat> but yeah, the G14 will be absolutely one. It'll be a joy to fly. I guarantee it. I can't wait to take her out. Uh, the G10, I believe that's a that is the later one we get in Normandy, right? That's the one with the cannons on the wings. That's a pretty fun one too. Uh, the ME410 uh, uh, B-1. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Love the ME410. That is that is a handsome looking aircraft. Yep, yep, and the premium apparently comes with the suspended uh, Mark uh, MK 108 cannons. I believe those are the 30 millimeter, and uh, the 108s I believe are the high velocity, if if I remember correctly. So you should be able to penetrate if you're on like a 45 degree angle with a T 34, right? The, the the armor on T 34 is pretty much at a 45. So if you get onto it from the side and dive on it at roughly a 45, you'd be hitting that armor flat on, right? 
so it should be fairly easy to at least set them on fire, take a few crew out, just make life hell for them, that's all. <clears throat> Excuse me, I just got to clear my throat here a little bit. New squads uh, for the uh, uh, USSR, 137th Infantry Division. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and you know what? There's not a whole lot of information that we can actually glean off of this just from just from here. Uh, obviously, we will go over these squads as we unlock them. They're just listing them right here, and I mean, there's a lot of look at all this. I wish I could highlight it, but unfortunately, I can't. So we're just gonna uh, keep on going. Gameplay and other changes. This is important. I don't know. I, I certainly don't know all of this. The first time I'm looking at it, obviously. The ability to change a soldier's call sign, yes, and the equipment window has been added. That is, <laughs> that is so cool. This new call sign replaces soldier's name <clears throat> and the interface in the game. That customization, that uh, cosmetic little ability to name your soldiers, I mean, you're the only one that sees that. So this is definitely, I think, a good, a good positive way to uh, monetize because obviously you know developer making game for us they need to make money yes we they need they deserve to be paid for their work for this thing that we enjoy name changes don't affect gameplay right they just make you feel a little more attached to the soldiers that you have in your squads i mean i, I love there's some soldiers that i've had since i started this game that i still hold on to and i remember playing with like you know years ago it's crazy how attached you get to those guys the Battle Pass window interface has been improved. That's a good thing. <laughs> we'll have to see what that means. <clears throat> Six new unique 5th rank soldiers. We went over that in the last uh, content video. Very exciting. Uh, two snipers, two tankers, and I don't remember the other two. It's not that important right now. <laughs> uh, that is cool. The area for the control of the aircraft by using the mouse has been expanded. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I, I, I did see a lot of people who were real confused about uh, aircraft controls and why just mouse control itself wasn't enough. And, well, I mean, I'm sure that'll improve it. Visual display of grenades when thrown has been improved. Good. Gamepad vibration in the game has been improved. Uh, don't use the gamepad. Oh, I do sometimes. Sometimes, every now and then, I'll just sit back. I'm like, this little chair here will just go... It just leans back and just get your little controller and... You know what I mean? Everybody does that every now and then, don't we? Don't y'all just plug a controller in and just F off for a little bit? Uh, maybe it's just me. <laughs> Consoles. Crossplay information has been added to the statistics window in battle and to the debriefing as well. Cool, 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 cool. Improve the visuals of wounds and other injuries to soldiers. Ugh. I turned my blood and gore off, but I, I've been considering turning it on at least for a few videos just to kind of demonstrate why I don't have it on in my games. I really don't like seeing that. Sh and, I mean, this is cool for people to do. Headwinds look more realistic. I definitely definitely don't want to see that. Yep, definitely don't want to see that. Uh, fix the appearance of the collar patches and the uniforms. Of the, yeah, yep, just fix that. Da, da, da. Uh, taking a look at the fixes. Taking a look at the fixes. I'm just taking a look at anything that's really, really important. This, yeah, fixes are kind of just. We don't really need to go too in detail about that. That's more something that you're just gonna feel is better in the game, right? You're just gonna feel it. Let's take a little look, see, at this battle pass. Just a real quick little look. Just, to, just gonna take a little. Oh, yeah, look at this. Upgrade changing orders. Uh, four silver weapons for. What uh, four silver orders for weaponry? That is, I think we only got two last time, so that is nice. That is an, uh, definitely a welcome change here. You get yourself a little wall poster. Yeah, we got the silver order, silver orders, but he here we go. Level up orders for soldiers, and these are free too. You see this little little free icon? All this stuff. The first four levels are free. That is cool. That is pretty cool. Ch Soldier's appearance change order. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, I can't wait to actually unlock this so we can see uh, what that entails exactly. Oh, what, what exactly what we can customize. I wonder if we can change their height or... Yeah, we're just going to have to take a look at that. Weapon upgrade orders. Love to see it. And again, the call sign or call name change order. Uh, that's interesting. That'll be cool. And that is also free. So even free players will... Uh, get to rename 
some of their soldiers, right? I think we can all be happy about more free content, right? Those of us who choose to buy the Battle Pass can feel good about other people getting it for free. You should feel good about that. If you don't, you're an asshole. <laughs> you are an asshole. Yeah, see, the next uh, name change is also free. Very nice, very nice. All these cosmetic things, for the most part, are what is free. Yeah, soldier level ups, order for troops, more order for troops. Yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this. Yeah, so many, so many things. You can see all these, all this free, right? You can see all this. I like this a lot. This is, oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the golden order for troops. I, I cannot wait uh, to get my hands on one of these little kittens, right? One of these. This this is the weapon that I am most looking forward to because it is just, it's gorgeous. Everything about it is just gorgeous. 30 rounds, uh, semi-automatic from what from what I understand, but it, uh, I prefer semi-automatic anyway. So you give me 30 rounds in a Gewehr instead of 10, I'll be happier in a pig and shit. <laughs> wow, okay. So uh, this is where I'm going to end the video. Uh, I'm going to be recording some gameplay and uh, working on my next episode of Sunday School, which, as you know, is my weekly clip show where I actually take the time to edit uh, to edit my, my content. And un unfortunately, I'm going back to work soon. My vacation is almost over. I don't know, guys. So Sunday School, uh, that's the reason why I do it once a week, because uh, otherwise I work 60 hours a week, like most of y'all do, uh, 40, 60 hours. You know, we're, we're all adults here. But look out for that Sunday. I almost have her done. Almost have her uploaded, or almost have her rent or uh, edited. <laughs> My goodness, I need a little bit more of this caffeine, y'all. I just woke up. Can you tell? <laughs> That's ridiculous. So, Berlin open beta. This this is going to be. Uh, I wouldn't say a turning point, but things are looking up for this community. And this game. This new Battle Pass, the effort that they put into making this. Look at all that free there. Look at all that free there. Look, he just scrolled through it and it's, it's all the way to the end of the Battle Pass. Just so much free content. Love that. I love that. That is really cool. Okay. <laughs> I'll quit blapping now. Love y'all bunches. Seven out.